Hello again and welcome to worship. As a father knows compassion to his children, so the Lord shows compassion to those who fear him. For he knows our frame, he remembers that we're dust. As for man, his days are like grass. He flourishes like a flower in the field, for the wind passes over it and it is gone and its place knows it no more. But the steadfast love of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting on those who fear him and his righteousness to children's children. Since we last met, a lot has happened, hasn't it? And many lives have been turned upside down. We now have a new monarch, King Charles III. So strange to say. And this because of the death of his mother, Queen Elizabeth II, on the 8th of September. And our opening verses were taken from Psalm 103 and were read at her committal service in Windsor. We also have a new Prime Minister, whom the Queen appointed a couple of days before she died, as well as several new Ministers of State. The late Queen acknowledged Jesus to be her Saviour, her Lord and her King. He won't die. He won't be succeeded. He simply is. And he's always the same. And his love is from everlasting to everlasting on those who fear him. We're going to worship him now by singing together, crown him with many crowns, the Lamb upon the throne. Thank you. 
pray together. Our dear Heavenly Father, we do thank you for being here with us. We thank you for Jesus who died on our behalf and made it possible for us to come into your presence. And we thank you for the Holy Spirit who opens our eyes to your truths and your ways. We thank you for our late Queen who followed the path laid down for her so faithfully. We pray that King Charles III will be as faithful and conscientious as his mother and that he will draw ever closer to you and listen to your voice. We also pray for our new Prime Minister and her cabinet, that you will equip them for the new roles they have taken on in these difficult times. May they be open to your leading and guidance and not assume that they know better than the God who created all things. Amen. We pray for ourselves too, that you will continue to meet our needs, watch over us and help us to draw ever closer to you. Amen. Now we pray together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We'll continue in prayer as we thank the Lord for all his goodness to us. He has looked after us in the past and he will continue to do so in these challenging days that we're all experiencing. So let's sing together. Now thank we all our God. Trust me. 
Our reading today is Psalm 23, a very well-known psalm, and probably most of us learnt it as children. And it was chosen by the Queen as part of her funeral service, and it was sung to Crimond on that occasion. It was written by David, the shepherd boy, who became King of Israel. And we're going to read it together, which is why Ken has joined me. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for ever. Our talk today is all about kings and queens, or to be more precise, one queen and the king of kings, which is how the Bible describes Jesus and to whom one day every knee shall bow. Our late queen made no secret of the fact that she served a higher authority, Jesus, her saviour, and her king. And as her funeral services showed, she believed that when she died, she would go to be with him. Since her father became king, she saw her calling as being to follow in his footsteps in serving our nation as our queen. When the time came, and which, with God's help, she faithfully did for 70 years. For the Queen, Psalm 23 was special. It was written by David the shepherd boy, who became King of Israel. About another shepherd, the Good Shepherd, who was also a king. A king who can meet all our needs. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. A shepherd who wants to lead us in the way we should go, where we will find rest and peace, in green pastures by still waters. One who forgives and shows us a better way, the way of righteousness which is far better than the often corrupt way of the world. It's about a king who is always with us whatever happens and who, one day, will bring all those who trust in him into his presence forever. Jesus called himself the Good Shepherd, who knows his sheep by name and leads them, and they know his voice, and so follow him by putting their trust in him. He said that a good shepherd is prepared to lay down his life for his sheep, which is exactly what Jesus did when he was beaten and scourged and died on the cross, taking the punishment we deserve because of our sinful lives. He was buried, but rose from the dead, and later ascended to heaven, where he is now king. And no one will ever succeed him, because the Bible says he is king forever. 
The Bible also tells us that he will return to earth and his new kingdom will never fail. Its borders won't be fluid like the border between Ukraine and Russia, but will be firm and stand forever. Jesus is not just king, but the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. He has many other names and titles besides, like the Light of the World, Saviour, Redeemer, Prince of Peace, Lamb of God. Oh, I could go on and on, but just one more. The Servant King. That was something our Queen tried to copy, to serve her people as well as serving her Lord. It's also what Jesus wants for us, to serve him by serving others and to daily walk with him, fixing our eyes on him and running with endurance the race that is before us. And with God's help, we can. For there is nothing he cannot do. One of my favourite hymns was also one of the Queen's and is Praise My Soul, the King of Heaven. Let's sing it together now. to go already and so Ken has joined me again. Let's say the grace together. May, May the, the grace, grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, Christ and, and the, the love, love of God, God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, Spirit be with us all evermore. evermore. Amen. Amen. A final verse before we go. Therefore, 
let us also lay aside every weight and sin which clings so closely and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us looking to Jesus the founder and perfecter of our faith. We'll say goodbye now but you may like to keep watching and view Ken's photos of the scarecrow tail we had in the village a few days ago to raise money for Christian aid. They were amazing. I don't know how people think them up. The theme this year was memories of 70 years. Enjoy. See you next time. Bye. Bye.